Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Punk Rock Review, home of a bunch of opinionated crap you don't care about, also the home of the feedback you provide that we don't care about, keeps us on an even playing field, and we like that. So, what have we got in store for you today? Well, today we are going to be talking about a social issue that has uh, come up over the last, uh, you know, <clears throat> I guess month or so, uh, and you know, we're always late to the party, you like to see the 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 dust kind of settle and then kind of jump in on uh you know the overall interpretation of how it went down so today we're going to be talking about uh roseanne barr and the comments she had made about uh valerie jarrett and her comparison to her looking like uh you know a character in a movie so <laughs> what are the standards for a comedian to be able to joke about race okay you got comedians that have been, you know, on the scene for decades, comedians that are no longer with us, that have approached the topic, poked fun at it, uh, you know, said things that were distasteful uh, and, uh, you know, not socially acceptable uh, and things like that. Uh, and, you know, you got, it's happened for, for years and years. It still happens today. Uh, what I don't understand is how the <laughs> the the backlash to Roseanne Barr, who is no no uh, you know stranger to controversy, uh, when she sang the national anthem way back in the day, she pissed a lot of people off. People hated her. Now you know is that like making a joke about you know race? I don't think it was a joke about race. I think it was a joke about physical, like, appearance that, you know, wasn't wasn't race-related. It just happened to be a, you know, kind of racist sentiment, you know, maybe, like, mixed in or interpreted in. Uh, you know, now, now we're not psychologists, uh, you know, and we're not race experts, uh, you know, by any means. Um, we're also not racist, uh, you know, uh, so keep that in mind. Uh, but for a comedian to get the backlash that Roseanne Barr, who is a comedian, uh, you know, got for, for her, you know, joke, uh, which, <laughs> sorry, it was funny. Uh, you know, if you put a picture by picture comparison of the subject matter and the subject reference matter side by side, uh, as a funny joke, man. Uh, was it distasteful? Yeah, man, it's mean. Uh, you know, was it was it racist? Uh, apparently, uh, a lot of folks interpreted it as that. Uh, you know, as far as our interpretation, because we've been around. Well, yeah, I don't want to say been around. We're not in the com the comedy scene. Uh, but man, we have checked out, as I'm sure a lot of folks have, comedians far and wide. Uh, you know, from all different backgrounds and things like that. And they talk about race. Here's proof that comedians talk about race. So this is an old school one. I'm going to cover up a naughty word. Uh, but man, Richard Pryor. Man, this one's back from the 70s. Uh, what, early 70s probably. Uh, man, you know, like... He, he even has, like, on the, on the back here. Black and white lifestyles. Uh, you know, is that super racist? Well, I mean, you know... It, it, <laughs> It's, it's not, it's not, you know, copacetic with, with, you know, national kind of perceptions and things like that, but he's a comedian, man. George Carlin, Richard Pryor, these dudes would be turning over in their graves, I almost guarantee you, if they saw the backlash that a comedian like Roseanne Barr got for her, uh, you know, her, in essence, joke, uh, whether it was, it was a statement, whether it was racist or anything like that, uh, you know, what I, I, I just don't think that we quite understand what the judgment standards are for comedians to make jokes and not make jokes. Uh, you know, people talk about race all the time, uh, in, in comedy, uh, and <laughs> most, most of the time it's for the better. It's like funny, uh, and that's what it's supposed to be. Uh, so, uh, chalk it up for what it is, man. I think it's a shame that, uh, kind of backlash went the way it was, uh, whether, whether the statement was hurtful or not, uh, you know, it's, it, uh, you know, the whole thing just kind of sucks how, how it all went down. Um, especially with like the cancellation of, uh, her, her show there on the reboot that was, uh, you know, really 
killing it in the ratings. Uh, you know, we definitely checked it out. Uh, thought it was okay overall. Uh, you know, definitely wasn't the classic. Looked like they kind of, like, were struggling in some areas to, uh, you know, kind of get, get some, you know, jokes across and, you know, things like that. Uh, but <laughs> what we think's a really, really bad mood, uh, bad move is to reboot the entire <laughs> series again now without her and call it the Connors and whatever. I think that's a bad move. Uh, you know, wh whether, whatever, whatever, uh, you know, probably not the best, uh, you know, move. That's one that, I mean, without Roseanne, that's, you know, that's the show, man. Uh, but that's just what we think of it. Uh, so inherently man we just want to know what what the standards are and what is uh what's okay for comedians to joke about and is there censorship that progresses past that uh where comedians aren't allowed to touch on certain subjects uh that uh, you know aren't socially accepted uh or or things like that uh you know are they allowed to, are, are comedians allowed to make jokes that's what it comes down to uh and where where do you draw the line on what jokes they can and cannot make and why is it okay for some comedians to make jokes but you know other ones not to uh <laughs> you know ah, i don't know man uh man racist a motherfucker but uh yeah i wish it wasn't uh you know i i like to think we get along with everyone uh, i like to think most people get along with everyone and it's just kind of the the media's uh you know kind of portrayal of of people at ends with each other uh but obviously issues touch deep for folks man uh you know and a lot of people took uh took roseanne barr's joke the uh entirely wrong way i'm sure from where she was uh kind of planning it in her mind uh, I really doubted that, uh, you know, when she was saying anything that she was saying, which is what it is, uh, when she was saying any of it, she probably did not be like, hmm, how can I wreck my entire, you know, rebooted career and back in the uh, public spotlight thing? I know, let me, let me show my, my true racist form, you know, to the entire globe. Uh, I don't think that was her, her mindset at all. I think she was being a comedian making a joke, and I think uh, they got a bad, bad backlash, man, from some folks. And, you know, are people entitled to be offended? Uh, yeah, I mean, everyone can be offended, but, you know, come on, man. Can't we all just get along? Uh, Roseanne Barr, what do we think of you? Well... We think that you got some uh, controversy around you right now, uh, but we also think that you were treated unfairly, and we also think your joke was funny. Whether, <laughs> man, uh, you know that's it is it is what it is. It is what it is. Uh, so we'll just put a uh, let's just do a sad face across the board because everything about it's sad. Uh, you know, Roseanne's joke made people sad. How people reacted to it was sad. Uh, you know, the fact that race was thrown into it as much as it was when I really inherently don't think it was, you know, directed to be so in any way, shape, or form, uh, was bad. It was just all bad and sad, uh, you know, and it sucks it went down how it did, but what you gonna do? Have a good one. You probably didn't catch next time. Probably won't.